Good morning. It's going to be a hot one. I'm going to give you some free advice. And the first thing I'm going to tell you is free advice is usually worth what you pay. So throw it away if you want. I don't care. But I'm going to say it anyway. That way, when it goes bad, I can sleep with a good, clean conscience. Uh, we as Republicans need to quit thinking that we need to get involved in every little thing that's going on. Right now, the Democrats are in complete disarray. We've been saying for years that our president is cognitively impaired. We have witnessed a gradual and even quickening cognitive decline. We've been told that we're liars, we're gaslighters, we're fake news. This is a big fake. It's a, a cheap fake. Uh, you know, all these things. This has been going on for quite some time. Now, the uh, debate kind of showed that the emperor has no clothes. Now, they are forced into a day of reckoning. This is theirs. We don't need to get involved at all. It's going to be a food fight. It's going to be ugly. And anybody who jumps into it is going to get dirty. Stay away from it. This is my advice. Number two, focus on two things. One, focus on the finish line. Focus on winning. Number two, focus on what's on the other side of that finish line. What are we going to do as a party when we win? We are positioned to win this thing, but make no mistake, as Republicans, we have a long, rich history of seizing defeat from the jaws of victory. We have a long, rich history of being our own worst enemy. This is not the time for that. Let's bring it together. Let's get through the finish line and let's focus on what we can do once we cross the finish line. For once, put some of your little petty things aside. Quit focusing on the three things you don't like about the orange man. Get over it. This is tabloid crap. You're better than that. Focus on this country, not on your feelings. Okay? I don't care that you hate him. I don't care. I don't care that you hated a kid in sixth grade when you were in school. It's not important. What's important is what we do once we win. Now, my advice to the president, the future president, the former president, Donald J. Trump. Listen to me because I'm giving you good advice. Brace people for impact. We're gonna hit a slowdown and you're gonna get blamed for it because it's gonna happen under your watch. They've been holding back the sinking of the Titanic for quite some time. They're gonna back away from it and we're gonna hit a very rough patch. You need to tell people to brace for impact. You need to let people know that the things we have done are going to cause something that will happen whether we win or not. This is what's coming and that tough choices will need to be made. You need to get people pre-positioned for a long, cold, economic winter. And uh, if you do that, you will be seen as the guy that navigated through an ugly patch. If you don't, you will be painted as the guy that took us into that ugly patch. So that's my advice. It's free advice. Take it for what it's worth. But I think I'm right. Good things. God bless. And I love you. Bye.